Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. You know, the single best band for prepping is probably 40 meters, 7 megahertz. But 40 meters means a 20 meter antenna, about you know, 65, 66 feet, and that's very long. Not always practical to set up. So I went looking for a shortened 40 meter antenna. Now the problem with compromise antenna and shorter antennas is that, of course, they're not as efficient as longer antennas. So I found one that actually uses the whole wavelength, 40 meters of wire. And uh, I'm hoping it's going to work fine. So let's look at uh, how it's built and, uh, uh, well, we'll try it. Don't you love going to the hardware store? This is what I need, 50 millimeter diameter, so a couple inches, and 2.8 meters long. Actually, I only need about 100 inches, 2.5 meters, but better look for the wire first, though. And this will make a nice base for the antenna. And since I'm going to be using an air capacitor, I'll have some space to put it in here. Plus the uh, connector for the antenna. Now I need 40 meters of this stuff here. I got it. Now I'm going to get the tube. It looks like I might be able to transport this antenna by car, which is the goal. Or maybe I'll shorten it just a tad, but... So the uh, hardware store bill came to about $35. And uh, the capacitor I bought on eBay was also $35. I got some heat shrink tubing for $20. So that's about $90 for the antenna. I don't really need this antenna for myself, but I'm pretty curious as to uh, the uh, performance and I'm sure you guys are too. Now, if you'd like to help out, please sign up for patreon.com and uh, help me out a bit. <laughs> Thank you. Now I have to cut 16 notches into the tube, so two by two, two like this, then four and eight and 16. At the uh, bottom of the tube, I have to drill 16 holes aligned with the notches on top. Well, I could have done this a little more precisely, but now I just have to uh, file the notches so that uh, the wires can fit inside. Eyeballing those notches was a mistake. Now I'm glad I got some heat shrink tubing to hide this mess. And uh, also I'll have to find some kind of a cap to put on top uh, so that, uh, you know, it's not visible. Now I'm going to thread the wire from end to end 16 times. All the wiring is on the outside of the tube. I'm going to spare you that and show you the result. Every four wires I'm going to use tape to uh, space them correctly. Now you can see the whole thing and it took forever. I mean, really, make sure you have some time ahead of you if you want to do this. And uh, if I was to do it again, I wouldn't do it the same way. I would use much thinner wire and not a solid copper, but multi-stranded. It's really hard to get the wires to be uh, parallel to each other. The air capacitor does stick out a little bit, so I will have to uh, extend the base since I don't have a Dremel to cut the shaft.
pretty nice and here's the extension going inside the base I'll just have to put the antenna on top of it and uh, wire the inside of the base I have about a one foot extension so I'm going to bridge that gap with a ladder line here Make sure you connect the uh, capacitor in series with the center connector, not in parallel. And I just received the heat shrink tubing for the antenna. Excellent. So here's the installation, backyard testing. It's in the middle of the day, so not the best for 40 meters. And I can't get the SWR to go lower than 9 to 1. When I touch the capacitor, though, it goes down to 6.9, so maybe I need more capacitance. It's a bit lower when I extend the coax, but definitely not good enough. The lowest SWR is at maximum capacitance, so that's what it is. Fortunately, I have some capacitors on the way. Looks very good with the torch. It needed a lot of heat to uh, retract. I just received my capacitors 100 picofarads and 150 picofarads. I thought they were going to be uh, 3 kilovolts, but they're 30 kilovolts, and I'm not going to complain about that. So I'm going to be using the 150 picofarads for the uh, 40 meter antenna. I will solder my uh, capacitor here on the air capacitor in parallel since uh, capacitance adds when you put them in parallel unlike resistors which you know resistance would be diminished but by putting the capacitor here on parallel in parallel with the air capacitor I will basically double the capacity Three point nine nine. It's better, but still not good enough. Ah! Oh no! Ah! Well, this one is a complete flop, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. You must be disappointed. I know I am. Spending all that money and uh, the antenna doesn't work, which shows that uh, sometimes you find stuff on the internet and uh, you shouldn't believe it. And you can't beat the laws of physics. That's all there is to it. A shorter antenna is not going to be better than a long one. That's all. I was hoping though that it would at least work as a compromised antenna, but maybe I did something wrong. Uh, if some of you guys uh, have an idea of why this antenna doesn't work, let me know. I'll publish uh, another video today, Sunday, on top of the Monday video, just to make up for it. Have a good one.